Hello, and welcome to Financial Literacy for you. Today we will be talking about something that everyone should have mastered to be successful, goals. Now, there's a right and a wrong way to do goals, and we're going to help teach you the right way. The best goals are the smart ones, and by smart, I mean specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. The S stands for specific. Your goal needs to show exactly what you will accomplish, otherwise, you will be less likely to reach that goal. The M stands for measurable. Your goal needs to have some sort of measurable aspect, whether it be money saved, friends gained, calories burned, or candy bars eaten, your goal needs to be measured in some way. The A stands for attainable. The first part seems pretty obvious. You need to be able to reach your goal. But not only that, you also need to have a plan that outlines how your goal will be met. The R stands for realistic. Your goal needs to be something that you will do. Ask yourself this question when setting your goal. Is it worth it? The T is for timely. Your goal needs to have an end date, so that way you can't fudge up the outline and never really accomplish anything. Whether your goal is short term, which is accomplished in less than a year, or long term, which is attained in over a year, your goal needs to have an ending time. Let's look at some examples. Lucy just came back from Halloween trick or treating and she has 52 pieces of candy. She wants to make her candy last until next Halloween, so she needs help making her current goal into a SMART goal. Here is her current goal. I want to make my Halloween candy last until next year. The goal has some really good aspects of a SMART goal, like measurable and realistic issues that go with eating some really gross old candy, and it's also timely. But you can change your goal so it falls into every SMART goal category. Let's try it. Your goal should be something like, Lucy will only eat one piece of candy per week to make it last until next Halloween. Now, is this goal a short-term or long-term goal? It's short because it's attainable within a year. Lacey's goal can also be translated into money if she wants to save up money instead of candy. It's that simple. So when you think smart, you'll be a whiz at setting goals in no time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon on Financial Literacy for You.